from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I got it. I got it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for being <laughs> into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. More news now on Simon Cowell. I can't get enough of this story. <laughs> this uh, this appeared in the Arizona Republic, but they got it from the the British entertainment magazine called Bang. Here it is. Simon Cowell is married to his job. The music mogul, who recently announced he has split from girlfriend of six years, Terry Seymour, admits the relationship failed as he is too obsessed with work and didn't want to commit. Um, okay. So you had to give her $9 million? <laughs> I still don't understand that part. It says here, he said, bottom line is I am married to my job. When people moan about being a celebrity, I think, oh, please, sort yourself out. It's the greatest job in the world. I wake up daily thanking my lucky stars. But to throw marriage into that mix is not right. Well, he's right about that. Right about that. He says, I have seen too many celebrity marriages that on paper make a great mix fall apart through ego and just plain celebrity madness. I agree with that, too. Simon, 49, claims Terry always knew he had no intention of tying the knot or becoming a father, but... He thinks she might have thought he would change his mind. That's what they always think, Simon. Had you been listening to our show instead of your buddy Ryan Seacrest, you would know this. We've been telling you this for a long time. Wow. She knew. He told her. Don't want to get married. Don't want to have kids. So she continued dating him, meaning presumably having sex with him since on this program, dating equals porking, hoping he would change his mind. And then when he didn't, this was his fault? Was that his fault, that he didn't change his mind? This brings us to my question for you. Simon Cowell providing show material two days in a row and none of it about American Idol. How do you like that? <laughs> anyway, th this brings me to a very interesting question. Here's the question, and uh, I want men and women to respond to this, although I think women are generally the perpetrators, and men are generally the victims. Here's the deal. Guys, how many times have you dated somebody? For whatever reason, they got a nice set of jugs, you like the sex, she's a cool chick, you like football, she likes football. You like nachos, she likes nachos. When you want to see her, she comes over. When you've had enough, she goes away. It's fantastic. And she thinks the reward for being a cool chick is that one day you will sign the document. One day you will get married. Now, like Simon Cowell, you tell her, you know what? I just love things the way they are. I don't want to get married. And I don't want to have kids either. Now, this is the perfect opportunity for your friend with benefits to say, you know what? I can't do this anymore because the longer I come over here, the more I am with you the more likely it is that uh, I'm going to feel too attached. 
So what guys generally do is, you know, we just say, you know, I'm going to ride this pony as long as I can. And there are women who just say, you know what, I'm... <laughs> I'm just going to keep at it, and, and I'm going to make the best dinners, and I'm going to be the coolest chick, and I'm going to watch every sporting event. And I'm going to get out of his hair and give him his space, and I'm going to bring him a beer when he wants one, and I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Because ultimately, I'm hoping he will see that even though he doesn't want to get married, that I'm so perfect for him that he's got to change his mind. Going back to the old theories about women thinking they can change men. Are we on the same wavelength here? Good. So time goes on, and there you are. You're having a great time living it up. Introducing this uh, female to your friends as, you know, this is my girl Jennifer, or, you know, this is Cindy, or whatever. Never calling her your girlfriend, your fiancé, your... <laughs> You're a live-in, whatever she is. You just refer to her like a pal. Hey, this is Diane. Just like that. Hoping that you're, by the way, not just hoping, but it proves you're being upfront and honest. You're not lying about being in love with her. You're not lying about wanting to be married. You're not lying about wanting to have kids. You know what I'm saying? She's Jessica. The cool chick I love to hang out with and bang frequently. And Jessica thinks, if I just bring you enough beer, if I just watch enough ultimate fighting with you on TV, if I just dress slutty enough, if I just give you whatever you want all the time, eventually you're going to give me what I want. Now, when you've got the cool chick trying to be the perfect chick, you tell her you don't want to get married, like Simon Cowell. You tell her you don't want to have kids, like Simon Cowell. But uh, she keeps pounding away. Do you owe it to her to change your mind and give her what she wants? How many of you ladies have been this cool chick? Okay, you tried this method. The method of just, you know, being the perfect corporate girlfriend or... Right? You know, you've been with him when he's been doing business deals. You have dinner with him and the people he's doing business with. And you split off and talk chick talk with the uh, the wife of the person he's trying to do a deal with. Or you go with him to every game. You give him everything he wants. You make his favorite food. You come over his place when he wants you. You get out when it's clear he wants some space. And then he never, ever got the hint. He never gave you what you want. Was he wrong not to get the hint if he told you he had no interest in getting married or moving in with you or having kids with you? Was he wrong? Was he? I mean, do we owe it to women when they, when we tell them we don't want to get married? Do we owe it to them ultimately when they are good to us for a period of time to say, you know what, I'm going to change my mind? Even though I said X, I now I'm gonna I'm gonna do Y. You tell me. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Uh, 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Do you owe it to a woman to give her what she wants? I mean, you've been telling her. Not interested in marriage, not interested in kids. And even though you know she's auditioning to be Mrs. You by cooking and cleaning and coming over and doing your skid mark laundry and everything. Hey, you were honest with her. You told her you were not interested in getting married. <laughs> Do you owe it to her to change your mind? It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Tyler on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing this afternoon? Doing great, Tyler. Yeah, man. I had three of them, Tom, and... The one that I accumulated first, she was just hard on me, and, and everything I did was was cool. And 
she got too close, and then I started to kick her away, and I'm like, hold up, I don't want marriage, I don't want kids anymore, I don't want none of that, and she still doesn't care. I think she thinks she has a magic vagina or something. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> they all do. Yeah, so I try to keep them on roll, and it's these other two, and they do the same thing. They all just try to get more and more time out of my schedule, and it's like I got this, this schedule in my head, and I just got to keep track of it, but the the main thing is they want to marry me, man. They want me to have my kid, and I'm like, I'm not having that right now. I'm enjoying this the way it is. And they say, I don't care, and they'll get upset. And I call it the circle because there, it comes and it goes. First, they'll complain every now and then, well, I thought you was going to do this. And I say, well, look, I told you I didn't want that in my life. So you like it or leave it, you know? And she's a well, okay. But I can't uh, leave now because I love you. And I've invested so much time in you, they don't know when to fall out like some of those stockbrokers. <laughs> it's time to sell that stock. Yeah, but uh, a couple of months ago, actually a year ago, I was, I was not in this position. It's because of you. My mom has a friend that works at the shipyard, and they listen to you a lot. And he said, if he's, if he's, if he's having women problems, tell him to talk to Tom about it. And um, I've been straight, man. I'm enjoying my life. It's great. I love that, Tyler. I love it. Thanks for the uh, call, and blow me up, man. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Kim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Kim. Hi. Uh, I just I never called into your show before, and I just wanted to call because this topic really hit a, a good point with me. I was in a relationship for four years, and I thought that being the cool chick would be everything for us. And uh, he got the ring and everything. We got really close. And one day he just said, I can't do this. I don't want to be married. I want to be single. And finally realized at 23, I need to be the same way. So just wanted to give it up to you. I really love listening to your show and everything. Well, wait a minute. But before I let you go, let me ask you a couple of questions. Because I, <laughs> okay. I mean, did he tell you he had no interest? Well, at first, that's what I thought he was looking for. I was um, working in the uh, adult industry. I live out in the valley and everything, so I changed my life, got out of the business, and I uh, thought that's what he wanted, but I guess apparently he said, well, I don't want to get married again. This would be his second marriage, and he just said it, it wasn't working right, and I guess it's probably mostly us listening to your show together. I think we just both realized that if it's, it's not going to work, marriage will mess everything up right. for us. But he, but he told you. That he yeah. didn't want to get married, and you kept at it. Yeah, I kept at it. I thought, oh, well, if I, you know, learn to cook, do all these things, you know, be the best woman. I, I was starting to take women advice and listen to that stuff, but I just never thought, you know, that uh, that he didn't want to. I thought that what it's supposed to progress into, but now I just realize it's just not going to be like that. It doesn't have to be like that. So are you still with him now? Uh, well, I'm actually going to go uh, hook up with him now, but nothing serious. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you were, for him, you were just hooking up all along. It was nothing more than hooking up. Yeah, and I guess I thought the ring would make it a difference, but we realized it's uh, better without it. Good for you. Yeah. Sounds good to me, Kim. All right, thanks. Could you blow me up, Tom? Yes, yes, I can. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Dustin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Nice to talk to you, Great. Man. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I just need to call in and tell you, uh, see, I was with a chick for four years. We met. Great sex, all that good stuff, right? Right. Yeah, and uh, I just kind of had it stuck. She said she wanted to do the whole marriage thing. She wanted to do the kids. I never even told her that I never wanted to do that because I've always listened to you. I'm a big-time listener, Tom. Sounds good to me. Okay. And, yes. uh, yeah, she, uh, stayed together four years, and, uh, finally she just recently broke up with me because she didn't get what she wanted. Was she angry at you? Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. What do you think when you see a story like Simon Cowell giving giving a chick $9 million? He dated her for six years. No, oh, gosh, that just makes me sick, Tom. After having told her he didn't want to get married, yeah. and he didn't want to have kids. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing stuff. Thank you, Dustin. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Maggie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Maggie. 
Um, I I just wanted to say that I I don't think the guy should owe the woman anything as long as he's open and honest with her about the fact that he doesn't want to be in a committed relationship. I tried it. I tried to be the perfect girl for the last guy I dated. Did you try that with a guy who told you he didn't want to get married? Yes, and I realized, okay, he doesn't want to be in a relationship. I tried being that girl who's okay with that kind of relationship, and it didn't last. I, I couldn't keep it up. Um, I just attached to him, and I wanted more. And when it was over, I had a hard time getting over it, but now that I'm over it, I'm really glad that you know, it worked out the way it did because you know I want to be with a man who wants to be with me and only me, and I'm glad that it worked out the way it did. It's just... I had to learn it the hard way. Yeah, I don't understand this. Of, uh, there are guys like Simon Cowell. Um, I think a lot of guys like that who say, I don't want to get married or I don't want to have kids or both. Yeah, I actually respect that. I respect a man who's honest. Yeah, but, but, but the, by the same token, respect it or not, there are many women, they may respect it. But uh, maybe that just means they fall in love with you even more. And yeah, then they I think, think it's going to change. Ah, uh, he I may think feel that. About us he may that feel. We change men. He <laughs> may feel that way now, but you know, if I make him enough home cooked meals, I do his laundry, and I'm always there for him, and I get along with his mom. Maybe he'll see I'm the right person. Exactly. I was seriously thinking that with this last guy, I thought he would see who I was and how wonderful I was, but. The reality is it didn't matter. He really did think I was this amazing, wonderful person, but it didn't matter. He didn't want to be in a serious relationship with me. Right. Well, so uh, thank you so much, Maggie. I appreciate the call. I do. Let's go to Ashley on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Um, Hi. Ashley. I know. I just said that. Oh, sorry. I'm like, oh, I'm on the radio. Whatever. <laughs> but I just have a comment. I listen to you periodically, sometimes... Um, I can't take too much of you because we don't always agree, but I do appreciate um, your strong uh, mindset on things because we need people like that, whether I agree or people don't agree. You need to know and be strong on that, but you always say that marriage doesn't work. And Well, that's you know, not what I say. I want you to know what I do say, and then we can talk about that. What I say is there's nothing in it for a man to get married. What kind of man? Any like man. Any man? Any man. Um, because there are no I, benefits. No benefits. Anything you get from being married, you can get without being married. You're right, but marriage is actually not a piece of paper. Marriage is in your heart. No, like, it's actually a piece of paper. Like and if you and if you want to get married in your heart, why don't you do it in your heart and not sign a piece of paper? I, I think uh, what I'm going at is that's the only way that marriage will work is that if it's in your heart, because if it's on a piece of paper, it's not really, you're just like, oh, it's a piece of paper, okay, I'll get a divorce, and that's that's just, you're going on a piece of paper. But if So you're suggesting heart, getting married without paper? Well, no, that by law, obviously, but... No, you don't, but you don't have to get legally married. Yes. Yeah. I guess I just come from a different background than most of your callers, and I'm a young listener, so I'm kind of open-minded to how everybody thinks. I like to understand how the world thinks. Well, I guess, I'm so. telling you that because of the divorce laws, because of divorce court, because of the way things work out for men, because of the high rate of divorce, one in two marriages end in divorce, mm -hmm. um, there's really no good reason for a man to get married. Okay, um, he can be your you boyfriend. He can live in the same apartment as you, though I wouldn't recommend that either because of legal reasons. He can um, have he can have kids with you, but he's not required to sign that contract. Oh, another comment is like you are so right on like getting your degree before you guys whatever people get in relationships and things like that mm -hmm. you are, people are so lame when they're like oh yeah i i'm you know i just feel it's right i'm like okay you go ahead and do that and by oh, the time boy. you're on welfare and like child support and like all that stuff it's just it's really sad on the kids part too because they don't like in divorces the kids suffer a lot right they're like a big and 
It's a big commitment. Marriage... Plus, if a guy waits until he's 35 and a doctor, yeah. he, he, number one, he will have gotten to bang so many women along the way. And number two, he can then marry a really hot young chick if he needs to get married. And then, because he already has the practice before he got married, she can't take half of it. Yeah, and and women too as well. If they just get their degrees as well, a man if he's going to marry a woman, he's not going to marry someone he can just sleep around with and go like kind of just be like, hey, see you later. He wants a woman who is just as independent as he is. That's like a married. If I were to get married, my husband better have a degree just as I will, and he better be more a uh, stronger person. I want somebody who can push me. More stronger, yes. Yeah, stronger. I need somebody to push me, somebody to be like, you know what, you could have done that better. And I'd be like, you're right, and it just helps me to elevate. We need to be two pillars, not leaning on each other, because if you people say, oh, we need to lean on each other, it's, it's good. No, because if one falls, they both but this whole idea of falling and getting up and supporting yeah. each other. You know, I live alone. I, there's no pillars in my home. I get up every day. My work gets done. My housework gets done. The money goes in the bank. Everything is taken care of. Yeah. I, I, I can't imagine becoming this needy individual who needs to lean on somebody. Oh, me ew. No, sick. I, yeah. I well, don't need any I, pillars. No pillars. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. Okay, if you know what you. I mean. Thank you, darling. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas yeah, like Show. show. Yeah. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. So, guys, you tell a woman that you don't want to get married, you don't want to have kids, but she stays with you anyway. Continues to service you and serve you and try to be the perfect girlfriend. And then later on, she's like, but I put in so much time. I've invested so much in you. I love you. Can't you see I want you to be my husband? And it's like, do you owe it to her to get married even though you told her you had no interest? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Rick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Great. First time caller. I've been listening to you for, I don't know, a couple months now. Love it. And uh, this subject came up, and uh, like I told your screener there, uh, I was married to this particular woman, you know, when we were younger, and we got to, we were together for about three years, got divorced, separated for about two or three years. Then we got back together, had a couple more kids, and I told her, well, maybe by the time I'm 40, I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll think about getting married. Well, that 40 mark is kind of coming up in a, few, in a couple of years, and I really don't want to get married. She's kind of pushing the subject. Now, <laughs> um, first of all, I don't understand people who press the rewind button. Can you explain this to me? Uh, you know, you uh, split up. We split up, and you pay, you probably had to pay through the nose to get rid of her. Oh yeah. Uh, why would you want to go back? You've well, already I've been, been there. Back, I've, I've been back six years, and it's but actually, but why? The second, uh, the second time it's been even better. I mean, it was even it's better. better. But you well, say it's better because I mean, I think we were mature. Uh, well, we matured a little more. You know, maybe it took some time for us to be apart in order to realize, you know, what, what's going on. All right. And then you had more kids. Oh, yeah. And then, I mean, she's a wonderful mother. She cooks. She cleans my, you know, she keep, cleans my house. Uh, she, you know, she does all the mommy stuff that, you know, needs to be done. And she's just a wonderful girl. Right. But you don't want to be married. I don't want to get married anymore. Right. I don't want to have to go through that uh, that deal again if, I, if it ever happens again. So that, uh, just lay the law down and tell her it's not going to ever happen. Okay. Right, can you do that? Uh, well, yeah, I I told her on several occasions. I said, well, you know what? I, I don't I don't know if that's the best idea. No, no, no. That's that's not the way to put it. Tell her it's not going to happen. Okay. Because it's that? not. When you say it the way you said it, it gives her the idea that there is breathing room. There is the possibility of changing your mind. Yeah, 
because we're happy just the way it is. I'm a, no, I'm, you're happy. No, you're happy just the way it is. Right, I am. She wants to be married. Maybe she can then hit you over the head again when you get divorced. <laughs> and this time she she'll have more more leverage than the first time. We only well, have one kid at a time. And <laughs> we got four. Right. Well, you you would have to pay child support. You're paying it anyway. That's what I tell guys who are paying child support. You're paying child support anyway. No. It's just you're not giving her a big fat check. Oh, right, right. No, I. Well, Rick, uh, that's what I would do. Lay okay. down the law, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. That's our telephone number. Kathleen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. How are you, Tom? I'm great. I just wanted to call. I'm a psychologist, and I was talking to the person that answers the phone, and I was telling him that I not only see what you're talking about today, but that I see the one step further where the person, the girl, will go off birth control and just uh, obviously out of nowhere get pregnant. So, and, you know, obviously it's an undermine trying to see if, okay, maybe this will convince the guy to get married. And no matter how far women have come in the United States in terms of independence and intelligence, I oftentimes don't see it. I don't get it at all. I, I don't either. I mean, because these are educated women. These are women that could easily take care of themselves. But there seems to be this part within them that is so needy and also very manipulative. And some of these guys are the nicest guys, but they're very naive. Well, I agree with you. I talk to them every day. I know. I hear some of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would put it this way, though. Um, if they're not going to leave, at the very least, uh, why crack under pressure? Um, I don't understand uh, why. Um, yeah, I, what happens is I think women just believe ultimately they can change us in every possible way. And I agree. Uh, I agree. I think that they not only think that they can change you, but they also believe that they are supposed to get what they want. Yep, you're right about that, Kathleen. Thank you. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Jojo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Uh, no, sorry. Um, I want to say I think that uh, she deserves the money. Why um, does she deserve? You're talking about Simon Cowell's girlfriend yeah. deserves yeah. money. Why does she deserve it? Well, I'd say that somebody like him, and I think anybody who gets involved in any celebrity, you know, it's highly unlikely that the marriage is going to last or the relationship is going to last for that long, only because most of them just don't. So what gives you the right to expect money well, when it doesn't work out? Well, I think that out? from the beginning, well, he gets what he wants. She deserves something for so, it. So it's prostitution. Well, however you want to look is at that it. What, I mean, and that's what it is. Not really. I'd say it's more of a business transaction where they. Well, why not just give us a? Why not just? Why not just give us? Why not just give us a price list like like you're going into a Denny's, uh, you know, and ordering the Grand Slam breakfast? Tell tell us how much true love is going to cost for a few years. Well, I don't think there's true love involved. Well, if there isn't true love, in, like, why would you want to marry know, somebody if there's no? Wait, 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 wait. Why would you want to marry somebody if there isn't true love? Well, oh, I, I'm married. I've been married. Why, for not over you. Years. Why would what? Oh, Jesus, you're killing me, Larry. Why would one want to get married if there isn't true love? Maybe she didn't want to get married. Well, th this is what he says. Well. You know, there's his side, her side, and then the truth somewhere well, in between, Well, I mean, right? look, she's got $9 million. Uh, but, uh, and we can only go based, by the way, on, on, on what we read. We can't uh, delve into it any further than that, which is why I expand this out and talk about the people who are calling in. I mean, why would a woman be entitled to money merely because she was in a relationship? Well, well I think it's... Sort of. Uh, I mean, for example, why wouldn't the man deserve money for his time? If he was in that, maybe if the roles were reversed. How, well, then he how, would wait, wait. What, what do you mean if the roles were reversed? What roles? Well, he's a celebrity, not her. So what? And he's gotten benefit from it. So it's he like, uh, let me understand this. For if you're if you're in the public eye, having a relationship is like calling an escort agency. Uh, you pick out somebody who looks nice for the part, and then you rent them for a few years. 
Well, all I'm saying is all that, I that can that's say, no, no. All you can say, all you can say is yes or no to what I just said. That's all you can say. <laughs> yes or no? Uh, no. What's the difference? Well, I just think that if you're going to be with somebody who, from the beginning, makes it clear that uh, that they're not wanting to get married and not wanting to be um, anything further than dating or anything, um, then, you know, I think it's okay that you both get you what you want from the relationship. And what's wrong with him paying her? He no, 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 no matter what. So what? And he stayed with her for six years. Why is she entitled to money? For what? For maybe for putting up with him. For putting up with him. Nobody put a gun to her head and forced her to stay there. We're not talking well, about no, Phil Spector. Right. Nobody did force We're her talking to about stay there. Simon Cowell. Yes. If if she wasn't happy with what she was getting, if she wants to be with a guy who 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 can marry her and have children with her, why didn't she leave him? I don't know. I just don't disagree with the settlement. But you That's have all. no but you have no explanation. Uh, no, other than I don't think it's wrong. I don't think it's wrong. No, it's not an explanation. I, you know what, your explanation <laughs> is, I don't think it's wrong because I don't think it's wrong. And that's because I don't think it's wrong. And I don't think it's wrong. Which it's not wrong. Don't think it's wrong. That's your whole explanation. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. We're talking about, uh, well, it started with Simon Cowell who, according to a story that appeared uh, in a British magazine and in the Arizona Republic as well, uh, remember we talked about him uh, splitting with his girl, uh, Terry Seymour, and giving her $9 million. And now, says Simon, he always told her he didn't want to get married, he didn't want to have kids. He's married to his job. Well, that was always his position. But somehow women think that they are entitled to money for the time they spend with us. And they think that despite the fact that we say we don't want to get married, we don't want to have kids, that somehow they can get us to change our minds. What do you think about that? Tom, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Brooke on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How are you doing today? Great. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, I guess I'm a moderate caller because I've listened to your station before, your, your show. And sometimes I think, uh, you know, you're entertaining and funny, and then other times I'm, like, really offended, and I think it's totally sexist. So it depends on kind of what you're talking about, your opinion, your point of view. Yeah, well, let's not take 10 minutes discussing a critique of the program. Let's get to what you called about. Okay. Well, you like to critique. I do, too. So we No, but I don't like doing it when we're in the middle of a topic, okay, ah, because that takes okay. everybody off the topic. Fair enough. Well, for the thing of marriage and, you know, telling people up front that, you know, you don't want to ha get married, you don't want to have kids, I just, I think that, you know, there's two people always responsible in that situation, and there's always so much that, you know, not just the woman can do, but the the guy can do, too. And you can totally rag on the, the girl, but the guy can, you know, get a visectomy. The guy can pick a girl. A visectomy? Initially... Yeah. So he can get his vice clipped? Well, that might they help. They put his balls in a vice? Well, I think you made that suggestion before to, to get a visectomy uh, under other circumstances. Um, I don't think I talked about a visectomy, but that's beside the point. Also, um, first of all, we're talking about getting married. That's that's the primary topic here. Uh, in the case of Simon Cowell, he was with someone who uh, apparently wanted to get married to him, right. even though he said he didn't want to get married, and wanted to have kids with him, even though he said he didn't want to have kids. Right. But he didn't sit down and have dinner and start a relationship with somebody that said that up front to him first and knowing full well that he was going to... Well, because nobody starts a relationship like that anymore. You know what? We Most of us start our relationships by hooking up somehow. You know, we meet, we're at a party, we've had a little too much to drink or smoke or whatever. Uh, then we make out in the parking lot and bing, bang, boom, pretty soon we're having sex. Right. Well, that's another no, problem. How often do we... Well, but that's the way it is today. 
How many of us say, let's go to a restaurant, uh, we've never had sex before, and let's discuss what kind of relationship we want to have. Who does that? But if the guy's up front and saying, you know, I don't want to get married, I don't want to have kids, the woman can do that too, and a guy can look for someone who's like that initially, so he doesn't have to chance it, you know? The girls can well, as but the, well. But the point is, somebody, the point is, me, the point is, darling, no, 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 this is a dialogue, not a monologue from you. Uh, the fact is that people do not sit down and discuss what kind of relationship they're going to have uh, before they start dating and before they start having sex. These are things that come out with time. Usually, the two people have had sex before they ever have this conversation. And by the way, it's a very easy way for a man to solve this problem. Uh, anytime a woman starts asking for something you don't want to give her, just simply leave. Well, the woman can also say, look, I'm looking for someone that I want to get married. I want to have She kids. should say that. It's, but so should the guy. The guy could say a friend. No, he doesn't hey. care. You don't understand. Well, that's the problem. You don't understand. It, no, he no, should that's, care. That's not the a, problem it's not our problem. It's not our problem. It's your problem. It's your problem. It's our problem. Because it's if, no, it's not. Problem. But it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. You're wrong. You are wrong. It is not our problem. It is not. You're not going to keep screaming over me. Okay, I'm not married to you, and I don't have to listen to that. Uh, the fact is that it is not our problem, because as long as you're willing to have sex with us, as long as you're willing to do our laundry, as long as you're willing to cook us great meals, as long as you're willing to watch the football game with us, as long as you're willing to be the cool chick, as long as you're willing to go away with us to Vegas for the weekend, whatever it is we happen to like doing, as long as you're willing to do those things, we're going to ride that pony until we get knocked off. There's no problem for us. The problem is for those who think that by continuing to do all of those things, by continuing to be the perfect girlfriend, that we will ultimately break down and change our minds, which most of us won't. They know that it is their problem. She hasn't listened to a some, single like thing Ray I said. said earlier. Yeah, You've been listening. talking continuously, and what you're saying has no, nothing to do with what I just said. Interrupting me I've had enough. one 800 800 talk You know, if you have such strong opinions about how to do a talk show, send a tape and resume into your local station, okay? Don't be telling me how to do a show, Donnie. Not here. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Ross, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Sir, how are you? I'm doing great. Hey, this girl that told you that uh, the guy should have gotten a bisectomy, <laughs> I think she, she's in need of a tubular light litigation. That's what she needs. That's right. You know how they give you a bisectomy? They put your balls in a vice. <laughs> well, you know what? She's the, she's the perfect kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I called because uh, a long time ago I was watching uh, some show that had Ronaldo Rivera on there, and he was talking about his divorce, and when they brought up the subject of alimony, he thought it was fitting because he felt that a woman's youth was worth something, and that ah. the, he had to pay alimony was only fitting that he would pay her for the time and the use that he spent on Well, her. How, how would... Uh... <laughs> How how deranged is he? The guy was divorced five times. It's, it's more than deranged. It's, 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 it's just completely stupid. It's a total crock. And if that's the case, then how much was his age worth? You know, because it was obviously worth a lot more than hers. Yes, I say my experience is worth a lot. <laughs> Pay me. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you what. I learned the hard way. And, uh, you know, to think uh, if you're telling somebody that you don't want to get married and they're going to come back and say that you owe them something, the only thing you owe them is a thank you note on the outside of the door for the time that they spent with you. I think you're absolutely right. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Arton on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? This is Arton. Yes. Like you said. Um, like I said, this is, yes. This is generally the problem we have with women. They never listen to us. And whatever you say, like 10 minutes later, the same question raises again. And you have to explain the same thing over and over again. And this is the same, like, with Simon. And I'm 100% sure he said it to her that I'm not going to get married. I'm not interested. And she it just ignored it. Okay? And then probably six months later, three months later, she wanted uh, to have children and get married. And this happens to all of us, the same thing, over and over again. The smallest thing to, to marriage and babies and all that. And I don't understand why they're not getting it. It's, it's just uh, not I mean, because it's, it's part of that whole thing that women think they can change us. Yeah, that's a problem, absolutely. And, why, why and then there's just them? enough schmucks out there who allow themselves to be changed that give women hope that they can do it to us. 
Exactly. Exactly. I have friends that change themselves just because uh, their wife or girlfriend to, and now they're uh, sorry to say that the women in the in their home, they're not the man. They're just somebody that listens to their wife just because uh, she said something that he wants to do it. Yeah. And they're scared they're gonna lose the woman they're with. Oh my God! There's so many out there. Just be a man and stand to it. And if think she's not happy with it, let it go. All right, all right. Let them go. Catch and release. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Tina on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. I just have to say something about the lady that just called a minute ago about um, you being sexist. I don't necessarily think you're sexist. I think I, I have to agree with some of the stuff that you say all the time. But at the same time, like, if if a guy is going to be an idiot and only think with one thing, then, I mean, anyone's going to take advantage of it. And I, I personally think that, you know, we always talk about girls, like, trying to get into these relationships and forcing guys and trying to get married and doing all, all sort of stuff. But when two people first meet and then they're hooking up or they're going out or whatever, and the guy's only thinking one thing, so he doesn't want to sit down and clearly talk about what he wants out of that relationship, because maybe he's postponing that conversation so he can get more whose fault is that? That's the guy. Well, maybe maybe he doesn't think there's anything to talk about. Uh, you know, I do not assume every time I date somebody that it has to end up in marriage. I don't. No, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, I just think, unfortunately, it's the society that we live in. And it's just, I mean, I, I, I used to live in a smaller um, community like by the beaches. And I used to go out and seriously meet guys that would let girls get away with that now my husband and i have this argument all the time because he sometimes kind of think the same way that you do like you know he's always talking about girls especially in la being after money gold diggers and this and that and we see many people like that out there but why are these successful rich guys getting girls like that letting girls like that get away with that i think uh, many of these guys are successful in their business lives but they don't know very much about having a personal life it's the Tom Likas Show.